everyone. Welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here. And in today's fun video, I want to talk to you guys real quickly about the material I cut over on the scroll saw primarily. Now, throughout the years of the channel, you guys have seen me cut out pine, cedar, oak, walnut, mahogany, various thicknesses of the materials over on the scroll saw. But primarily, I use one quarter inch plywood. And that's what this video is about today because I have had a lot of people in the comment section as well messaging me on Instagram about where I get the material and I'm about to show you right now I get this material locally at Lowe's Home Improvement and where I'm at in North Carolina it is $30 for a full four foot by eight foot sheet and if I'm not in my truck or I'm riding with somebody and need to swing by and stock up on quarter inch material I will get the kind staff at Lowe's to cut the material down into four pieces of two foot by four foot sections and that's what I have to show you here here is one of those sections. It has a lighter side here and a darker side. I always try to make the front lighter side that's kind of similar to pine be the presentable side when the project is finished. I'm going to peel the price tag off and show it to you guys or the barcode in case you guys want to pause the video to get the specifics of everything. But it is Revolution Ply. There you see it. Four foot by eight foot sections. And the only thing about this plywood is it is great and it has produced some amazing projects for me and I've got a few laid out here that I'm going to show you guys. It is not a true one quarter inch material thickness for cutting and what that means is it's just shy of a true one quarter inch. So if you're going to use a tab design like I used earlier in the month on the pumpkin candy dish and you want to make a tab project, you just have to go back and remeasure. I always keep a scrap piece of this by the scroll saw to where I can lay it down and mark it to get the correct slot thicknesses. I've got two scrap pieces actually laying right here to show you. Again, here is the lighter side and the darker side. You can kind of see it better there instead of me just kind of flip-flopping it. But the thing about the lighter side that I like to have as the presented side, as I said, is it's got a very, very thin veneer on it. You can see right here it's kind of starting to peel where the factory blade cut that off and that just means when you get done scrolling you just got to be very careful with sanding that you do not sand through this thin veneer. I always keep a very very sharp blade in my scroll saw. You guys know I will use a number two blade if I am doing some tedious work and my go-to blades are number five blades always in the reverse tooth or ultra reverse tooth brand and they cut exceptionally well with this material just as good if not a little bit better than Baltic birch material and it just has minimal chip out and that is why on camera you nine times out of ten just see me use 100 grit sandpaper in the palm sander not only to not sand through the veneer of this but to also just give it a nice smooth layer for the finish to be applied to because it cuts so exceptionally well over on the scroll saw. I'm going to show you a few of the projects I have done the first one I'm going to show you is a Kenny Hopkins design and it is a nautical and maritime themed piece here and I cut this out with number five reverse tooth blades sanded it with 100 grit sandpaper and put Minwax wood stain on it and then clear coated it with rust oleum clear gloss and you see it is pretty front and back and all the way around the edges there and I'm going to show you this train portrait by Steve Good right beside it I had the grain going vertical on this portrait, but on this portrait I had it going in the horizontal direction and you can see both ways you cut on it come out exceptionally well, especially some of the veining up there in the boiler of the locomotive. It also takes paint exceptionally well. Uh, a few summers ago I cut out this Tiki design by Steve Good and this is just Rust Oleum um, paint and primer mix that I just sprayed on it and it came out great. You can kind of you can see them there really really cool and the detail is amazing. Again cutting out with number five blades and I also cut out this Kenny Hopkins design. This is another Kenny Hopkins piece. This hot rod piece it has a little more detail in here with the flame but as you can see it still came out amazingly well. Really really cool and I'm going to show you guys a tabbed project. I don't have the pumpkin candy dish. It's in the house full of candy. But I do have this Steve Good design here that is a scroll saw blade storage caddy. And there is an example of the tab designs I was talking about. And what I will always do 
is before I even start filming is take a scrap piece like I showed you before, lay it on the slot and just redraw the cut line to make sure I just have an accurate cut when doing a slotted project. So just keep that in mind if you ever want to try this and do a slotted project. Now not speaking of the scroll saw, but you guys know I have a basic diode 5 watt laser. I have the longer Ray 5 laser engraver and cutter and it engraves on this material really really well as well. Here is a really useful engine I just done one day out in the workshop and finished it with clear coat. It will not cut through this material because I have just a simple diode laser. It's too thick for my laser to cut all the way through but I will now cut out something like a nice scroll saw portrait like I've showed you. Flip it over and engrave my name with the laser engraver on the back and it does it exceptionally well every time but really really cool I just wanted to show you guys the material that I used and tell you where I get it um, a lot of people were asking I hope this video has been informative to some people if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at artisan pirate links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos that's about all for this one and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.